Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, weekend, trading day, and all that good stuff uh, as we are uh, approaching quickly, right? Quickly, uh, Thanksgiving, take a time, spend some time with your family. Again, you'd be surprised, especially for all you guys who have young kids, you'd be surprised how quick they grow up. So all these times of the year are super precious. I just remember my son being born and now he's going to be 18 years old this year. So take your time out, especially during the holiday time. Uh, make some time for your family. Other than that, hope everybody is moving on, right? Moving on and grooving on uh, with their life. Kindly be guys. So uh, be kind if you can be so kind uh, and just click a like on the video, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And again, I will try my best to uh, guide you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. So after last week's uh, pretty steep decline in the NASDAQ 100, uh, the question going into today's session was, well, was this the market that was just profit-taking off of a pretty exaggerated uh, rally on the Trump re-election, or was this turning into the natural market that we saw on pretty aggressive pulls that we saw all throughout the month of October, the regular market? Uh, we talked about uh, over the weekend, the 494 uh, 494 40s level as kind of our line in the sand and the 34 day moving average. And the question was, was the market going to wake back up? and start moving back to the highs, or were we going to start feeling much more pressure from last week's sell-off? We kind of got both, and I, I, will, I will explain myself in a second. Uh, first and foremost, I, there are some names that we discussed over the weekend that did very, very well, right? It did very, very well. There are some names that we discussed over the weekend that absolutely nothing. And this is kind of where you can take a step back and if I had to sit there and try to convince one side of the aisle uh, what I felt, I could make a very compelling argument. So I can make a very, very good, compelling argument that the market was just a stutter step last week. Everything's fine. We held last week's lows, and now we're going higher, right? Now it's like about 100 points today, six tenths of a percent. And I can make a lot of examples, right? And let me show you guys a couple of examples. Uh, Apple looks great. Right, Apple looks great. It didn't quite close above the range, but it looks really, really good. Uh, Square that we discussed on the weekend video gave a great, great pivot today. Looks incredible, right? Again, this re represents speculation mine. Uh, you have names like Affirm, right? We talked about Affirm on the weekend video. Again, massive call buying came in uh, for the 65 weekly stay. Again, gave a really, really strong pivot, right? So really good names. You had Tesla. Uh, waking up this morning. Uh, obviously, I recorded the video uh, Friday afternoon. So uh, the news that came out, and this is the news, uh, Trump's team told advisors to make federal uh, framework for fully self-driving vehicles, uh, transportation departments, uh, top priority. Okay, that's cool. Obviously, the news came out over the weekend. Uh, Tesla had a big move up today. At one point, it was up about 8%. Uh, gave back, gave some back and closed on a red candle, which again, not quite what you want to see, but the call buying today in Tesla was incredible. Absolutely exaggerated. Let me give you some of the highlights there. Uh, I saw some uh, $4 million premium for the December 360 calls. I saw numerous seven-figure bets for the December 370s. I saw some 350s, 360 weeklies. I saw June $400,000 premium uh, for the $700 calls. Basically, you're just looking for the stock to double. So there's a lot of big premium, right? A lot of big speculation money. And you turn around and you go, wow, Square, they were bidding it up. Uh, Affirm, they were bidding it up. Coinbase that we talked about on the weekend video, again, gave us a great, great pivot today. 
right? They're bidding it up. Again, they were coming today for the 320 and the 340 weeklies today when the stock was under 300, like they were going out of style. Three, four, five million dollar bets, one after another and another. Again, it's another example. We'll get to the pivots in a second, how the options market will dictate usually the underlining security. So you had massive bets coming in all over the place, right? And the question is, well, well, well how, why is the market bad then, right? right? Like, why can you make another case that the market is bad? Well, that's the flip side, right? For the three, four, five names that we just talked about and we had real pretty aggressive pivots today, here's the other side of the equation, right? So the QQQs today put in an inside day, didn't take out the highs, didn't take out the lows. That's not a good thing, okay? It's really not a good thing. The, the NASDAQ would need to get back above 503 on the close to kind of make last week's sell and go away. So that's not a good thing. The longer we stay in this formation, the longer that we can't reclaim 503 on a closing basis, there is going to be a higher probability than we start testing back to 494. And when you start looking at a lot of names, right? A lot of names uh, that played out today, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here, right? So here's the group, right? You have Meta really can't get out of its own way. Matter of fact, not only couldn't take out the way, it tested last week's lows. Um, you have Amazon, right? You had Amazon. Again, inside day, but it closed lower than the open. Again, not a good thing. NVIDIA, we're going to give it a pass. And the reason why we're going to give NVIDIA a pass, uh, NVIDIA reports on Wednesday uh, after the close to be determined. Right now, there's still a lot of euphoria in the name. Uh, they're still coming for the 150s, the 160s, the 170s. I saw some 180 calls uh, in the last week or so. So in the video, we're going to give a pass. Microsoft cannot get out of its own way, right? Again, guys, keep this in mind. These are the leaders. Microsoft cannot get out of its own way. AMD finally had a little bit of life today, right? Had a little bit of life. They had some sort of deal with uh, IBM and blah, blah, blah. After the close, though, they came out with their chief accounting officer is resigning as of November 18th. Uh, that's today, right? Basically, effective today. You want to read into what you want to read. That's just the news. Uh, SMCI that's been on a death spiral for the last, pretty much for the last two months, uh, again, over the weekend, basically they said they're complying with NASDAQ. They have, a, you know, they have some sort of plan and this, that, and the third. The stock had a really nice move up. Yeah, from Friday, the damn thing has gotten murdered. This, this thing was at $94 in, in, in July. So to say the stock was ripping today, a little bit of, 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 of uh, you know, over, over, uh, over excitement statement. So the key, the problem is here for every three, four names that look really, really good, right? That look really, really good and took out the previous day's channels. There's a lot of names that are stuck in the mud. Something got to give here, right? Something really, really got to give. And this morning at Morning Strategy, initially I turned around and go, I don't love anything. I really don't. And the next thing you know, I started putting in pivots one after another and after another. And you saw some massive option flow. A firm, uh, they were coming for the 65 weeklies, 1.4 million. Square came for the, you know, for, for the 80 weeklies, uh, January, 100 calls. And again, you started seeing massive buying, almost panic buying in those names, but everything else kind of goes sideways. So going into tomorrow's session, I'll give you guys uh, some names that I'm definitely watching uh, tomorrow uh, to the upside, right? Especially to the upside, because I, again, I want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt until the market loses the 50-day moving average, if that happens. Uh, but the point is, you know, you want to see beta kind of start trading very, very aggressively all in the same direction. And we haven't seen that uh, yet. So going into tomorrow, very, very stock specific names. Uh, we want to watch the option activity in those names. And if they confirm based on uh, deep out of the money calls with short term expiration, I will be more than happy to uh, entertain those setups. But if not, again, you have to be very, very careful because a lot of these names are just kind of stuck in the mud. So here were uh, today's pivots, right? Here were today's pivots. Uh, some very, very good aggressive action today from, from names uh, I really, you know, I really didn't expect. So Tesla, we got our first dip today, right? We got our dip. Tesla opened up. It was like 348, 349. And I was looking for that first washout to go long. Um, I wanted to buy it off the 334. It traded the 335 
and then put in a, a twelve dollar balance. I, I physically wanted to hurt myself. So unfortunately, I did not get this. Uh, PLTR, I was watching to the upside. Uh, Sixty six needs to confirm. Never got there. Uh, Mike uh, Morgan Stanley one thirty five. Not really a trade for me. Uh, Morgan Stanley one thirty five needs to build. Uh, basically, never, never got there. You got to like thirty five and change, and they kind of died on a vine. But here's where things got very aggressive. Here, you got a firm. Uh, massive buying came in very, very quickly. Uh, the, the highlight here was the weekly 65 calls, $1.4 million hit the tape. 57.50 needs to build. Here was a firm went nuts, right? Went absolutely nuts. Took out the 67.50, took out last week's highs of 59.26, went all the way up to 63. This thing, just an absolute uh, rocket. Square 86 needs to build. Again, we talked about a buyers came in for the January 100s. Uh, 86 needs to build. Here was Square. Uh, Square traded all the way up to 92. A massive move. Here is the 86. Again, what I look for when a stock after it consolidates, I would like to see it take out at least two days worth of channels. And you can see here, 86 was the high from two days ago. So 86 was a big number of stock went all the way up to uh, almost 92. Huge, huge move there. Uh, Meta, we were looking for the flush. It traded down to 550. It's opening range. It never confirmed, but Meta still looks weak. Uh, it still looks very, very weak. Um, you know, here are the key levels on Tesla. It took out 346, went to like 348 and change, and then had a nasty violent pull. I tried to bounce it on one of the pulls. Uh, I lost about a dollar and change on the bounce. And then it went down like another seven. So something is wrong there. But again, I want to give it the benefit of doubt, especially if it stabilizes in the next couple of days. Uh, this was definitely the biggest move of the day. Again, we started watching, guys, massive seven-figure bets. When the stock was under 300, we saw the 320 and the 340 weeklies come in one after another after another. For massive $7 bets. Uh, 30650 needs to build. And this thing just rocketed, absolutely rocketed. Congratulations to all you guys. It. So here is the 306, right? Here's the 30650. It took that out, traded all the way up to three, uh, three, uh, three. Th am I reading that right? When did it go up to 330? I must have done it on the close. Oh my God, I must have done it on the close. When I logged off, the highest I saw it was in the 320s. But hey, the damn thing went to even from 320s, uh, 320s, a big move, 306s to 320s. Uh, stock traded all the way up to uh, 329. Watch the you know last week's highs. Just a massive, massive push. Congratulations for all you guys who caught coin. Uh, Microsoft, not a big move, went down like a dollar and change. Uh, again, they're holding on. There's not enough fear to push everything down, but they're still holding on uh, to those bottom ranges. Uh, NVIDIA, I bounced NVIDIA. I got a little, I got, I don't want to say I f f got faked out. I, I bought NVIDIA on that 3760s, right? 3760s put up. Uh, 3760s washout. I got long. It went up with like 60, 70 cents, made some sales. I always use break even as my stop just in case it comes back, washes out and goes more. So I got stopped out. It went down like another dollar. And then the damn thing rallied $4. But again, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with that. I don't like when they come back and retest the major support. But again, sometimes it happens. So nice little, you know, a uh, nice little trade there. Uh, PLTR, I also balanced PLTR initially on the 6160s. Went up like, again, another like 50 cents, not, not nothing big at all. Uh, sometimes these stocks are heavy after a big, big move, and today was definitely one of them. Uh, Apple, nice move on Apple. I like Apple for tomorrow. 228.87 needs to build. Apple was very, very strong. Uh, here was Apple. It took out the 228.87. Went up about a dollar. Um, I still like this thing for tomorrow. And that, let me give you kind of a segue for tomorrow's pivot. So Apple, uh, I definitely want to watch for tomorrow. Uh, look at look at DraftKings, guys. Right, look at DraftKings for tomorrow. Keep an eye at it above today's range and definitely above uh, last week's highs. Uh, look at the stock PAYO. I have no idea what this is, but this thing had a Big, big move up, has gone sideways for the last basically two and a half, three weeks. Watch the top of the channel here for another move. Uh, LMND, Lemonade, right? Lemonade, uh, you had a big move up, consolidation, big move up, consolidation, big move up, consolidation. Is there another big move up coming in Lemonade? 
to be determined. But the most important part is I want to watch beta. And uh, we, want, we want to watch what the cues uh, can do. The line in the sand, again, is this 34-day moving average on the QQQs, which was last week's lows, 494, uh, 494, 40s. Again, I understand the Qs are still $5 away from there, but you quickly see how quickly the market goes. And for the bulls, we need to get back above 503 on the close to kind of validate and start filling in this whole gap here. Guys, God bless everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And with God's help, I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.